Hi, I'm Tim Bradley. Welcome to Capital Views. And we're here today with Pat Pitney, the president of the University of Alaska. Thank you for joining us, Pat, by Zoom. Oh, it's absolutely. Thank you. What we do these days. Um, Pat, uh, you know, the, it's been a tough year for the university, but I, I, my sense is that things are kind of on the upswing now. Maybe you could touch on enrollment is important because that's, that's really the customers telling us what they think. How are things going for the university? You know, there's, there's some real bright spots on enrollment. Uh, we still, of course, have some challenges, but the bright spots are our, uh, our incoming freshmen and our freshman applications. So people coming into the university for the first time seeking a particular program, um, they're, they're choosing uh, UAA and UAF and UAS in larger numbers. Our, we're seeing that in the spring. We saw for UAF, we saw that last fall, and we're seeing it uh, for next fall. And I think uh, the sense of stability is helping that. But uh, we also, you know, had the challenge of COVID and, um, and that was, you know, somewhat disruptive. And I, and a lot of our um, uh, community campus uh, campuses were impacted. And we, we think a, a large um, factor in that is, you know, people taking care of others at home. And um, also, you know, any uncertainty regarding their job. So, although we're we're seeing uh, new entrants and we're seeing, um, you know, headcount uh, things that are positive, our our overall credit hours are are down. Uh, but we have things like you know, school of management has been up consistently uh, at UAF, and you know, they they were early entrants into the to the uh, distance. And remote learning, and uh, they've really been able to capitalize that on that. Um, and uh, Sitkin Ketchikan, also kind of early entrance in and experienced in the distance ed, um, we're seeing increases. But those are, you know, very program directed. You know, Sitka's Fisheries Technologies, Ketchikan was in the marine, uh, the marine um, engineers and Coast Guard areas that, that we're seeing increases. So. It's, we're not out of the woods, but there are very good signs and especially the across the board, uh, first time freshman numbers that we're seeing. And in the case of the community colleges, I mean, a lot of this was career and technical training. And these were people who were, I guess, working other jobs and they have other responsibilities. And so they were impacted by it, it goes to the point you were making that that uh, they had they had challenges that, that made the enrollment there drop. But is there is there any uh, bright spot there that some of that can come back? You know, so some of our community colleges are are focused are, are largely focused on community and technical education, but there's also a lot of um, you know associates that are your kind of your traditional junior college roles, and um, you know some of the technical ed we. We had to accommodate COVID, so some of it we had to, we were, had forced smaller class sizes uh, that were meeting safe to safe or face to face, but in a social distance appropriate way. Welding, diesel technology, things like that. So we had to adjust to to meet COVID. Um, um, but it, I think it's it's even more so on those kind of the junior college associates of arts impacted and I, I think it's just flexibility. But in terms of the overall budget situation, are you um, you're having to make more cuts? This is the third year of the um, of the three year cut cycle. Maybe you could kind of walk us through how much was cut each each year and where we are. Yeah. So you know after the compact, you know, looking back for seven out of the last eight years we've been reduced 120 million dollars. That's 30 percent of our budget. Uh, we will definitely be smaller uh, coming up for this last year of the compact. It's another $20 million in state funding. We kind of got the double whammy with COVID and the, and the credit hour enrollment, which is really drives our tuition and fees. Uh, you know, that was down. Um, and so we're, we have both of those impacts. We, we do believe the enrollment is a short-term impact and we can see that uh, rebound, but the, the $20 million coming forward, uh, each university and the system office is working to, to manage that. We're going to be thinner, uh, but we are very much focused on the program access. 
you know, our ability to serve this state is the degree to which students are getting into our programs and when they come out of their programs, they're taking jobs in our economy. Uh, they're strong citizens, they're strong leaders. And so our focus is really on keeping those program access points open and uh, allowing for choice. The, uh, you know, for example, on civil engineering, yes, we have two civil engineering programs in the state. You look at other small states, they have at least two, if not four or five civil engineering programs, but they're different. UAF is focused on horizontal construction and hydrology and Anchorage is focused on uh, vertical construction and um, uh, you know earthquake and seismic. So the choice is necessary. These are, these are things our state needs. And so again, it's keeping those program access points open is really where we're focused and we'll continue to be focused. And by the way, I, I, I can't resist uh, uh, just saying for those, the uninitiated, vertical construction means buildings and structures. <laughs> Horizontal construction means highways. And highways, <laughs> roads. Good. Thank you. I, I, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get to that, that terminology. Yeah. And I, you know, I think the biggest thing is, is creating confidence and trust in our programs and, and this, the long-term uh, strength of these programs and, and uh, their availability for our students in our industry. And, and looking for st stability post-compact. Yeah, and you've made the comment that the, um, that the, Im the impact of budget instability was, was dramatically illustrated last year by fall-offs and enrollments. But now the, uh, the resurrection of the enrollment figures show that uh, a sense of stability has returned. It has, and it's really, it's, it's that, that on the new students, you know, kind of we, we, we see a COVID impact, but our new student and our interest is growing and, and it is making a huge difference. We had, had a bigger impact, but, you know, bigger negative impact on the uncertainty that was created um, than, than on COVID. And so I, I'm positive we're, we're in the rebound. Well, that's good news. Well, thank you very much, President Pitney. It was glad to have you here and uh, we wish you well. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Bye. Yeah.